Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sega Man Tony back here with another uh, pickups uh, Christmas video. Uh, here, I have some video games that I picked up uh, at the exchange and also at the comic book convention that just passed here at Pittsburgh Con, and uh, a couple DVDs also to show you. And a couple action figures I actually got at the Goodwill that I thought were pretty cool. And the first thing we're going to start out with here, guys, is um, this is Doctor Doom from uh, the recent movie. And I got him at the uh, Goodwill, and um, he, ha he actually lights up. And, like, his face lights up in his hand. It's actually pretty cool. Check, out, check us out. That's pretty cool, huh? I only paid like 50 cents for him. I thought that was um, pretty cool. And I also picked up a wrestling action figure, Sting, right there. That's in TNA right now. Um, he was only like 50 cents. I thought that was, you know, pretty cool because I like TNA wrestling. So I picked him up. Now, I'm gonna, let's get in. There's a guy I actually traded with. His name is Harlem, and he he works at the Goodwill. He has his own little store, and I find him all different kind of Lego action figures and Ninja Turtles and different things like that. We make trade for games. So he actually, I traded him for some figures for uh, Zelda, um, the Ocarina of Time, for the uh, Nintendo 64. That's the game, and he also uh, gave me the, the um, strategy guide to go with it. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, gee, man, thanks. That's pretty cool. And at the Goodwill, I found a really good gym there, too. Um, when you find any kind of games at the Goodwill, at this Goodwill I go to, it's like a Goodwill that has a lot of stuff in bins. And um, I found a really cool game for the Nintendo 64 for a dollar, and I know it's worth way more than a buck. It's uh, Zelda, The Legend of Majors or Majorius Mask, I think if I said it right. But that's it right there. It has the uh, 3D sticker on the front of it. And it's a gold tape. And I only paid a dollar for it. Didn't try the game out yet, but I'm really uh, happy to get this for a buck. Because I know it goes for way more than a dollar. So that was a good find I found in one of the bins. As soon as I seen that gold tape and picked it up, I was like, man, it's either a Pokemon or it's a Zelda, the Zelda uh, game. So I was really fortunate to get that for a dollar. Um, next game I got here for the Sega Dreamcast is uh, The Grinch. Fully complete. Um, no, uh, no scratches on the disc. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I only paid like two fifty for this, I believe. So that's that's cool. Uh, another game I got here. This game was actually from Pittsburgh Con Ridge Racer uh, for the the PlayStation One. Uh, no scratches on this. That's really cool. I only paid like three dollars for it. That's not bad. Even if it's the greatest hits, that's cool. Cause you know you guys know out there that I like uh, racing games. Um, I got another. Um, Sega CD game here, fully complete, for only two fifty. It is uh, Links: The Challenge of Golf for the uh, Sega CD. Yeah, it's complete. You know, um, the case. The only thing is, is one side of the case down the bottom is broken, but um, it came with that little foam in there. And it seems like a lot of my friends on here like the games when they get them to have this little foam in it. So I, you know. I <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool, you know, that it had the foam in there, so, you know, that's cool. Uh, another game I got here um, for the Sega CD, and I have a, I also have an extra copy of this. It's not complete, it's just the game disc, it, and it's a good uh, shooting spaceship game, and it's called Split Heed. So if there's anybody interested in that disc, let me know, and we can make a trade. If anybody's interested in it, because I have an extra copy of this game, but it's just a disc. And that was Split Heed there. I um, also have uh, an extra copy of this game, if anybody's interested in it. Uh, it's not complete, but it's a, it's a golf game. 
golf uh, chal uh, challenge golf right here and I have an extra copy of that if anybody's interested in that um, I also got a really really good game here now it's not in the it's not in the case but it's called for the Sega Genesis it's a good uh, shooting uh, game here it's called Twin Cobra for the uh, Sega Genesis this was only uh, 250 and um, it is complete there's the the book in there now like I said the games actually in my Genesis because I'm uh, playing it right now but that's a really good game that I got there uh, my next game I got here I got this actually at uh, Pittsburgh con for my Sega Master System it is complete and it's a really cool game it's called uh, Rastin if I said it right by Tanya that's it right there for the uh, Sega Master System it is complete it is a kick-ass game I was playing it on my uh, Game Gear because I have the uh, expansion pack that goes on the back of it where you can play through the Game Gear and I also tried it on my Genesis so it's pretty cool another game I got here is called Outrun 2019 it is complete this was um, also 250 at the exchange down here this is a really cool uh, futuristic kind of racing game uh, outrun, you know, like the regular outrun, you know, with the chick in the car and you're driving. But this is actually a really cool uh, racing game here. You see the back there. And um, it's not hard to play either. Like the steering on this when you're using a regular Genesis controller is really cool. So, yeah, it's a pretty good racing game. So anybody's in the racing games uh, and you, you want to collect racing games for your Sega Genesis, check this one out. It's pretty cool. Next game I got here, which is a really cool fighting game, awesome fighting game for the Sega Genesis. It is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters Complete, right there for the uh, Sega Genesis. It is complete and has the book in it and the game. It's awesome. Now some of these games I'm going to show you, like I got this Sonic Spinball here. For the Sega Genesis, I didn't have it complete, but I found it complete for um, 252 at uh, the exchange. So I went on ahead and got it and um, traded in my loose copy. Another cool game I got here too for the uh, Sega Dreamcast is Arch Rivals arcade game. Um, I don't think this one is complete though. I don't think the book's in here. No, it didn't come with a book, but it was only two dollars. So I could find the book later for this this game. Another game I got here at the uh, Comic-Con, the, the case is a little beat up. It doesn't have the instruction booklet in it, but it's for the GameCube, and it's Sonic 2 Adventure Battle for the GameCube. But I have a lady I deal with at the flea market named Linda. It's called Linda and T's Video Game Place, and she has a lot of books and stuff. So I could pick up something from her with um, see if she has that book. I'm a really big um, Pac-Man uh, fan and I found Pac Mania at the exchange right here for only two fifty. Um, I believe that Pac Mania um, is complete. It has the well, no, actually it isn't, but it has these old school posters in there. Um, it doesn't have the book, but it has these old school posters in there, so that's pretty cool. Um, also found columns uh, in the case which is cool I had a loose copy of it so I got that too I got uh, Taz in Taz in escape from Mars I did have a loose copy of that and now I have it complete I found uh, Dick Ventry's awesome baby college hoops that was only a dollar, and that is complete for the uh, Sega Genesis. I got this from my friend Harlem, like the guy I told you I trade with at uh, the, at the um, flea market. It is Hunt, Hunter the Reckoning for the GameCube right there. So I got that off him. That's pretty cool. Um, I got this game for my TurboGrafx-16, and I picked it up at Still Comic Con. For only three dollars, and it is complete for the Sega Master System, and it is called Vigilante. 
So now I have Vigil Vigilante for my Sega Master System and it is complete with book. And I mean, let me tell you, this guy that had these Master System games, they were in perfect condition. I mean, perfect condition. Another one I got here is Desert Strike Return of the Return to the Golf complete with book. That was only a dollar at the exchange. I also got Road Rash here complete in the case. And I got this really cool driving shooter game called Road Blasters right there. And I don't think it has the book, but it was only 250. Another cool game I got from Linda that works that has Linda and T's place up there at the um, flea market was Neo Contra for the PlayStation 2. Sorry about the glare, guys. Try to get that glare out of there for the PlayStation 2. It doesn't have the book. They were only five dollars a piece, but I actually traded her something, and she gave me a few PlayStation games. She let me pick what I wanted, so I picked that. And there was this guy that was really cool too. It's still Comic Con. He, he loves Nintendo games, and I got this complete in box. It's called a uh, Rollerball. It's actually a pinball game for the NES. It has the book in it. It even has a plastic cover to cover the game in, that you put the game in. And that's really cool. So I picked that up. I picked up Intellivision Lives for a dollar at uh, the Goodwill for the regular Xbox. Now these are from my friend Harlem. This is uh, Power Rangers Super Legends 15th Anniversary for the PlayStation 2. Uh, Dragon Ball Z 2 for PlayStation 2. Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. This is from my friend Linda for the PlayStation 2. Pretty cool fighting game. Uh, this one is Crash Nitrous Cart. That was from my friend Harlem for the PlayStation 2. And I have an extra copy of this. So if anybody's interested in trading something, I have uh, Invisible Wars. Uh, Deus Ex for the regular Xbox. So if there's anybody interested in this game, let me know. It's up for trade. And a couple movies. I had got uh, Bruce Lee, uh, Return of the Dragon. That was only two fifty. Bruce Lee, Chinese Connection. That was two fifty at the exchange. A good movie called Priest. That was only two dollars and fifty cent at the exchange. Uh, Fist of Fury, got that for two fifty at the exchange, and I picked up this really cool collectible horror movie for only a dollar at the exchange. It is the collector's edition of the Texas uh, Chainsaw Massacre. It has the cards inside there, some kind of picture cards, and it was only a buck, and it doesn't even look like the the movie was played at all, guys. So I thought that was pretty cool. Well, guys, that's all I got for um, right now, but um, I will be back with another video because me and my friend Sire649, please check out his channel, uh, I got him something for Christmas, he got me something for Christmas, I did get it in the mail, I'm not going to show it until Christmas Day or Christmas Eve um, when I do another video and I probably have more games then too, so take care guys, Merry Christmas. And a happy new year, and I will see you before this. Um, as always, game on. I'll talk to you later.